Hey everyone, it's Melody. I am here with my top 10 favorite Pandora items of 2018. I saw Fairy Princess Alyssa do a video like this and I thought it was really neat to reflect back on uh, the things that I've purchased this past year and kind of see what my favorite items were. Um, I have no like order for this, so I'm just gonna start listing things as we go. Um, today is actually the last day of 2018, so wishing everyone a very happy New Year's, New Year's Eve, uh, wherever you may be. Let's make it a great 2019. I feel like 2019 is going to be really strong. We're going to have a really strong, good year for everyone. Lots of health, lots of happiness. Let's go for it, okay? Um, so first of all, I've only started purchasing Pandora since the summer of 2018, so I don't have a ton of pieces, nor do I have a lot of newer pieces. I think I have a lot of retired um, items. However, um, these are all new to me, so just wanted to make that disclaimer. <laughs> uh, first, uh, I wanted to say one of my favorite Pandora items this year have been the leather bracelets. I have four of them. Um, and I chose the pink one because I find, I find that I wear the pink one a lot, a lot more than I thought I would. Except for some reason, it just kind of gives a little um, burst of color to uh, stacks or to um, just like when I'm wearing things. Like sometimes I won't wear anything on this wrist, but I'll wear this bracelet with my Apple Watch. And I just kind of like the way it looks, you know? So really love this bracelet. It's the double uh, wrap one. It has the barrel, uh, the, um, excuse me, the circle clasp, but the round clasp on it. And it just says Pandora on it. This was purchased on Rue La La. Um, for those who don't know, Rue La La sells discounted Pandora items. They're all authentic. Um, I always leave my link down below if you are interested in picking up pieces like this. They always seem to have leather bracelets on their site too, which is great because I think they're for such a good price. So love mine. I've never used mine with a dangler or a charm or anything, but I just love these leather bracelets. So that's definitely on my top 10. Um, should we do another bracelet next? Next, I have my Essence bracelet. Currently has two charms on it. The beaded one is so beautiful and elegant and just dainty and I absolutely love it. So I actually didn't know if I wanted to put any charms on this originally because I love the bracelet so much. Um, as you can see, it has the round clasp on it. And then you just hook it on like so. And it's just so dainty and just kind of delicate and um, I don't know, I love them. I was never really interested in the Essence bracelets in general, but I love this beaded one. Very, very happy to have it. Um, definitely one of my favorite pieces from 2018 and it's a surprise piece because didn't think I'd ever buy an Essence bracelet, but really, really love it. I wouldn't even mind having a second one or even the solid one, but just loving the beaded one. Beautiful. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and finish off with the bracelets. My third favorite item from Pandora this year that I purchased is the Reflections bracelet. I've got mine in the silver. Um, the only thing that I have on it is the safety chain, as you can see, which I also love, just not part of my favorites, but I love this bracelet. And I just recently watched someone's video who and I wish I could remember um, whose video it was. I've, I've like been purging on Pandora videos today, but um, they actually wore their uh, reflection bracelet on the wrist with their Apple Watch. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really like that look. Like this is actually a cute look, you know what I mean? To have the reflections here. So I think I might try wearing it that way. I haven't really done that very much, but I think I'm gonna try that out. I love this bracelet. Um, I can do like a full review of how it's how I've worn it and all of that if anyone is interested now that I've had it for What is it now? Like it's been out for what three months or so? I wear this constantly so comfortable so beautiful um, And I wouldn't mind getting some charms for it. I just haven't yet, but Definitely one of my favorite items from Pandora I love that um, let's go ahead and go into charms next. Um, one of my favorite charms that I didn't think that I would purchase, but I happened to get because of uh, the gift set is this New Year's Eve charm, which is very fitting for this video, isn't it? Um, it is the fireworks dangle. Look at the bail on that. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. So this charm, um, 
has the CZ fireworks on the front and then the very glittery uh, blue enamel night sky in the back. It's just so pretty. I just love the way that looks like as a dangle. And then the back of it actually says a beautiful sentiment, the best is yet to come. Y'all, 2019, the best is yet to come. That should be our, our motto for 2019, the best is yet to come. I love that. So a surprise piece to my um, Pandora collection, since I wasn't planning on purchasing it, but I did love it. But um, very, very happy that I have it with the um, gift set. This was a smooth bracelet that it came with along with these clips. So goodness, I love that. <clears throat> Next, another charm. Um, where is it? Bam! I love, love, love the compass rose. Now, I knew I liked it when I first saw it, and I knew I wanted it on my um, Follow Your Dreams bracelet, but I didn't realize how much I would love it. I just think it's so beautiful. Uh, it's got a very simple bail on it. Uh, the dangle is so cute with just the white sort of shimmery iridescent enamel for the back and then the actual compass part has a little bit of turquoise in the center and then the round um the round circle here they're like composed of hearts it, I, I feel like you can tell better from the back so pretty love that and then obviously the sentiment on the back Follow your dreams. Love this charm. A very, a, again, another surprise. Um, not that I own it because I wanted it, but just a surprise that how much I loved it when I finally got it. So, love that one. Next, um, one of my favorites, the dream catcher. I just think this dream catcher is so beautiful. I do believe this came out this year. Uh, this one also says, follow your dreams on the top. Again, this is why the bracelet was called follow your dreams. I just love that it's kind of like a button style, but with the feather dangles. I love that the center is a beautiful little heart. Um, I just think it adds something really nice to any bracelet, whether it be a moments bracelet or a leather bracelet. It just looks nice on anything. Even if you had like a necklace or something, I think it would look nice on it. It just lays so beautifully. So definitely one of my favorite pieces from Pandora. And really, this is probably the charm that made me want to buy, want to make a charm style bracelet. When I saw this, I was like, oh, I really, really love that. But I don't know about this whole, this whole business about making a bracelet. But since I love this so much and this compass row so much, I was like, let me try and see what happens. So that's why this bracelet formed because of these two charms actually. There we go. Love it. Um, those are the bracelets that I, or the charms, excuse me, that I really love. Um, I really, really love this little case. Um, this was from the gift set um, during, I got this during the Black Friday deal and it came with this bracelet, the smooth bracelet that I showed. But I really love how this case, I just think it's perfect for travel, to put your stuff in. It is just white textured um, on the outside. It's round, obviously. It's got this lovely zipper with the Pandora on it as well. It has a D ring so that it comes with this like wristlet sort of thing and these little circular or um, round, like kind of like baubles, I guess, but I just don't connect mine because I don't use it like that at all. Um, but on the inside, it is a light gray finish. You can put uh, earrings or what have you on this part here. And that comes off obviously. There's a little pocket here for you to put, I don't know, rings or what have you. Um, I've got another bracelet in there right now, but I just think this is great for travel. This one really is um, like just a nice travel piece. Um, this part, you can obviously put your bracelets in. You can take this whole thing out if you just need some more room. 
I love this, but I wish I had like a second one because I want one to stay like pristine and I want one where I don't have to worry about it getting dirty and stuff. But I just think this is one of the nicest little cases that came with a uh, bracelet this this year. So love this. this is definitely part of my top 10 favorites. I think this is great. I've been kind of on the lookout for someone who's been who's trying to just sell this so that I can have a second one, but it's not excessive. You let me know if that's excessive down below if you you have similar thoughts sometimes um, on your pieces. So that, and then my last three final pieces are actually going to be rings. <clears throat> As most of you may know, or some of you may know, um, Pandora rings are the major reason that I got into Pandora in general. And uh, I feel like the rings are really my favorite part about Pandora. So I acquired three rings that were highly, highly on my sought after list this year. Didn't think that I would end up purchasing, um, but I, I did. I couldn't believe it. And at pretty good prices. So not in any order, but um, definitely one of them has to be the Midnight Blue Star Ring. I purchased this pre-loved. And an amazing price. Oh my gosh. I just love this ring. And I, I rave about this ring constantly, all the time, every day. <laughs> In any video that I have, I'm always like, I love this ring. But I do. Thumbs up if you love this ring. Um, I got mine in a size 52. So it's a size 6. It fits that finger. I love it. And I love stacking it with, you know, any other, any of my other rings. I just think it's a beautiful, big statement piece and I just love the color of that stone so definitely on my top 10 favorites one of the rings that I really really wanted when I first started collecting Pandora because um, I saw someone else have it in their Pandora ring collection video I was like oh my gosh I love that but it was retired and I just I, I didn't know if I would ever get a chance to obtain it but yay did um next is this one the daisy signet ring this is number nine on my favorite uh top 10 favorite list didn't think i would end up getting this one either but it happened to pop up on rue la la for a pr pretty good price um it is two-toned so it's got this little the braided bit right here is gold the daisy is a mother of pearl and you can see it's textured because it's the daisy is kind of uh, almost embossed on the mother of pearl. It has this beautiful, really nice thick um, band, and I just love this ring. When I saw, I saw it on someone else on Instagram once, and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want that ring. So this is the most ex expensive piece that I've purchased um, from Pandora in general. Yeah, probably from just in general, but also. Um, it, Pandora two-tone like gold stuff is just so overpriced but again on Rue La La it was discounted and I was like I'll do it because I really love it got this in a size 54 size 7 because I wanted it as a middle finger ring again um, retired but a new acquisition for myself very very happy about it and that is number nine and last but not least is my Pure Radiance Ring. This, again, this is also retired. I happened to purchase this uh, pre-loved, um, but I absolutely love it. Can't believe the price that I got it for. Can't believe how beautiful the condition is. And I'm just so thrilled uh, that I was able to find this ring. I was, I mean, at that point I was like, if I find, if I see it at a decent price, and I, you know, I don't care what size it is. I'll even get um, a size eight, you know what I mean? A size 56 if I have to. Um, just because I really wanted it. So the stone is a quartzite. Is it? I always forget what this stone is. I always forget. I can't remember. But um, I like that the stone is in this sort of diamond shape. I love the details around the stone. And then I always love these little bobble sort of details on the sides. I love the setting on this one. It's nice and high. So you can definitely stack it. This one happens to be a size 54. And it's just a very lovely statement piece ring. Definitely on my top 10 favorites of this year.
I think all of my three top 10 favorite rings are statement rings. <laughs> Even though I really, really love the stackable ones um, and the simple dainty ones, I just, I'm very happy to own these three because uh, they're, you know, retired, hard to find, and I just didn't think I would own them. And especially for the prices I got for them. Very, very excited. So there's that one. So that is my top 10 favorite Pandora items that I've purchased this year. Let me know um, what your top 10 favorite items are if you've made a video like this that I might have not caught yet on YouTube. Um, let me know what your favorite items might be that you happen to see here or from my top 10. Give this video a thumbs up if you happen to like Pandora videos. It always just kind of helps me to know um, uh, if you guys like these videos and I, I should uh, continue to make Pandora related videos. I know it's kind of a, um, a little segment of my YouTube channel. I kind of do other stuff too, but I feel like a lot of people have been liking the Pandora related videos, so I've been trying to make more as we go here. Um, hopefully in 2019, I'll be able to make a few more Pandora related videos. Um, give me ideas on things you guys wanna see at Pandora related, jewelry related in general. Um, I will probably have a haul here, here um, coming up soon as well. You guys, thank you so much for watching, and I really do appreciate every single one of you who have commented, liked, subscribed, um, who have made this uh, interest of mine kind of a nice uh, community. You know, it's really fun to be able to talk to you guys about Pandora and what you're into as well. So thank you so much for that. Um, if you guys want to see more from me, definitely click subscribe down to below. Uh, like I said, my link for Rula Law will also be down below as well. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I can try to answer them for you as well. You guys have a wonderful 2019. We can do it. We're going to make 2019 amazing, okay? <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye!